Good morning guys, this is your boy Angry SA Gamer and today's video is Lavanica with a new talent, um, Vampiric Grail. Now a lot of people have been suggesting this and um, that's not the correct Lavanica, damn you. How did I do that? I, I made sure that I took the right Lavanica. Hmm. First lady we're going to challenge is my Miss Magic. Now my Miss Magic I have built now with uh, True Piety. And Sacred Light, a Rambod build. Someone suggested it. I tried it out. It's not too bad, but it's not too good. Um, but let's see Levanico with its new talent. This is why we are here. Vampiric Grail. Let's see. She stays alive. Okay, so the true party would help her to stay alive. Let's see if Levanico can take her down there. This is on her Euro base, so she does have a more... 45% uh, extra defense, something like that. There she goes. She was tanking for 28 seconds, so that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let me just show you the Levanica properly. So we've got Vampiric Grail. Um, raises attack by 110% and attack speed by 55%. Recovers HP equal to 100%. Attack every time this hero deals a basic attack. Then we've got Sacred Light. We have Spectral Hold. And we have some accuracy. So, uh, next legend. Yeah, I don't know who the next legend is. Wait a minute. I've now realized that I do have the skin for Miss Magic. Let me just do that real quick. Bam. And I also have the skin for Dark Mage. Let's do that. Let's enhance the skin. As far as we possibly can. Okay, now let's look. At, oh, look at that thing over there. Oh, wow, baby, baby back. Okay, uh, Ruin Master would be next. Now he is a beast. Um, now I can obviously not use him with Empowered. I can because it does increase HP. What do I have as a main? Is Flame God Soul Healer? Yeah, no. That's going to be tough for Levanica to take down. Okay. Um, online that I am 1.6 almost 1.63 million might I need to push some more Okay, let's see. Oh wow. He's actually damaging him a lot more than I thought it uh, was gonna damage him He does have flame god. So that might be the end of Levanica with flame god. There you go. Nope. Okay. Let me just move Myself away. Yeah, so you guys can see I'll be sitting in the middle. I'll be looking up at this fight. Look at that. Wow. Levanica is taking some damage, but Ruin Master is standing his ground. Levanica not s doesn't seem like Levanica is doing the best of damage. Maybe I should switch to Zealous Drive as the Insignia. Give him a bit more of a punch. Levanica is going to die. I wouldn't say this new talent is bad for Levanica, but I wouldn't say it's the best because it doesn't seem like... He's got quite the punch that he used to have. I know that the legend is a flame god legend, but still, this is a Levanica. It should go a lot differently than it did. Let's see if that's going to work out. Again, with the uh, Ruin Master. Ruin Master, that's a free to play legend. It's a pretty beast legend. Okay, now Levanica's got Zealous Drive, which gives him more of an attack, more of a range, and. Also reduces more of the damage intake. But now because of the Flame God, he damages himself a lot more. Because of the reflective damage and that actually kills him. So we're not going to go with Zealous Drive. Even though it's the best insignia and talent in the game. We would rather not use that. Is Vampiric Grail good for Levanica though? That, that is the other question. I'm going to go with Soul Healer because that's going to help him out a lot. Let's uh, get a different legend. Okay, so Alpha Mech's up next. Now, we know Alpha Mech sucks. I mean, he just dies to everything and anything. But would that be the case with Lavanica? I think so. Okay, let's see this. Alpha Mech, are you going to survive this, buddy? No. Alpha Mech's so weak. What did IGG think when they released this legend? For so much money. 
Okay, okay, we're gonna use my lava against Malakrox's lava. Now, mine's got Soul Healer with Sacred Light, 66 Forest Ward with Attack. Very different, not very different, but different to Malakrox's one. So, let's see if that's gonna. I think, I think my Lavanica is gonna beat the living crap out of his. You know, it's one of those things where you go, my dad has a bigger truck than your dad. My dad's got more money than your dad. One of those things, you know. But my lava is going to beat the crap out of his. Now the problem is, uh, mine has extra defense. He doesn't. Oh, this is going to be a stalemate. Oh, wow. Look at my lava destroying his Levanica. Mine is the one in red. Health bar. His is the one in green. His is the one that died. Wow. Okay. But this is now where we're going to have to change it up. I'm going to have to challenge his lava on his Euro base. Just to make it fair. But I'm going to have to use move the Euro base out to there. And then, because everybody moans about it, the stun towers. I'm going to leave the stun towers there. Because if my Levanica survives with the stun, with the Aero tower, screw you. Screw you. Now, this is the big test, boys. This is the test we have been waiting for. My lava beats his lava. Even with the arrow tower there, you should shut up and build your lava like mine. And then Vampiric Girl is actually useless on Levanica. Let's see. My lava, my, my lava? No. Mine dies quickly. So, it might be the tower. So, let's take that away. Let's take that away. Okay, I can't take it away, but I removed everything. Now you can see the range barely reaches half of that base. So if I place lava there, that would be fine. Then we won't have an uh, arrow tower problem. The best way in IGG, the best way for us to test heroes versus other heroes is to be completely neutral on that side where there is no increased defense because of the hero base. It should be a lost battlefield situation. If, if we could get Yero testing that way. We have the Adder Tower heading on. But I can tell you now that the Adder Tower is not doing enough damage. When If my lava goes down, that is because of his Levanica. Not because of the towers. But now you can see the towers are disabled and my lava survives. Can you get a healing, baby? Yes, he can. Now... Will he defeat this lava? Ah, so close. My lava is still better than your Levanica. That's true. Can I see? Okay, let's choose a next legend. Uh, it's not going to be a lot more fights going on. I want to go with Dark Mage real quick. Just want to find him. And, um... Just want to find Dark Mage. I think he's way at the back. There, that's him, right? Yeah, he's really ugly now. Like, really ugly. He seems like one of those horror movie characters with the fake masks. That's human-like masks. Damn ugly legend. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Okay, just to recap what my Dark Mage... Everybody hates him because I built him with HP. Tenacity. Sacred Light. Spectral Hold. Which I'm gonna change. Let me change that right now because I'm not a fan of that um, enchantment. And I'm not a fan of it on Dark Mage. So we will change to Blinding Blow. That is what we're gonna change him to. So that would be a 6 to 6 Blinding Blow. Change, replace, yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, let me show you the rest. So, Blinding Blow and then, obviously, HP. So, let's go for it. Okay. Let's see this happen. Dark Mage versus Lavanica. Blinding Blow. Okay, there comes the uh, attack now. Okay, now it's taking zero damage. And he's dead. Might be the bull. I don't know. Maybe you guys are right and I'm wrong. Um. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know. The choice is up to you or, or it's your choice. What do you want to do? And um, I don't think I don't think I will change my Levanica to this specific Vampiric Grail. I don't think it's good for Levanica. You need something like Skull Knight, Ronin. Something that consistently deals basic attack. Not something that now and again and solely relies on skill activation to be successful. So that is my input. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and a goodbye. <laughs>